The food industry sector offers a wide variety of choice and a variety and diversity of careers, whether it be in purchasing or in technical roles or sales and marketing roles or operations, um, and also a very wide variety of different food businesses. Scotland has some great legacy businesses, I would say, for, such as the whisky industry and some of our baked good industries. And there's a tremendous heritage there to, to steep yourself in if, if that's something that would interest you. And there's also some smaller cutting edge brands out there as well, which uh, might interest other different types of graduates who are looking for different challenges. Uh, but it's a very broad church. Food scientists and food technologists are absolutely vital to the lifeblood of our companies. I was born in Scotland, uh, moved to Canada when I was three. I uh, lived there for about 21 odd years and then I came back to Scotland to do my masters in uh, food science and microbiology at the University of Strathclyde and I ended up getting a job at Matthew Algies while I was doing my dissertation for my master's degree program. When I started with a company I started as a quality assurance manager and I've worked my way up to being head of uh, quality and regulatory affairs. We supply countries all over the world uh, and for that reason we need to be clear that the statutory instruments within those countries that we are complying with them to make sure that we don't send in a product that contains an additive that's not permitted. Over the years I've benefited from graduate training program with Dalgetty Foods moving through various companies both large and small in, in Scotland and now over the last eight years I've been working in Baxter's Food Group uh, covering various roles from site technical manager to manufacturing manager of one of the plants to my current role of European technical controller. I studied at Queen Margaret University in Edinburgh. Uh, I studied marketing with sociology um, which was really important um, to understand the, the context of the wider market. One of the, the companies on my shortlist um, was Weetabix and they employed me as a graduate trainee um, so I actually worked on the sales team for a year and then after that you can decide on which discipline you wanted to go into and I chose marketing. Then shortly um, after my six years there I got a job with Baxter's. The marketing department are responsible for pulling together the, the proposition so whatever that might be whether um, it's a deli inspired range and who is that targeted to, what kind of consumers and what is it they're looking for, what is their consumer need. And Once you've identified that we create a whole kind of concept and proposition that surrounds that that feeds into a certain market opportunity. That is then briefed into the development kitchen and they start working on recipes that would match that proposition. At the same time we would also in tandem brief a design agency who would then work on the look and feel of, of how that label works um, and marketing are very much responsible for leading that process right the way through. Nowadays adding value has to be through innovation. I mean if you walk through the hours of supermarkets you constantly see new improved, new recipe, better flavour, better mouthfeel, more taste. We have to do the same and customers aren't static and taste isn't static, people develop and change, um, so we have to be very much up to date with what's happening in the high street. Developing new products is massive to the business because sales go up when you launch and then the product only has a certain life where it starts to go into decline, so all the time we have to be looking for new ideas. We've got a review tomorrow at Marks and Spencers um, and this is for the Italian range. We've already been down twice so this is our third review, so it's basically, it's hopefully the final show of the kitchen product before we transfer it over to the factory. We then take that into the factory and get all the raw materials to do that and run that through factory trials, get all the nutritionals together um, to create what goes on the packs. This is really the heart of the company, this is the hub of where it all happens and this particular room is my favourite room. Every single day, first thing in the morning, the whole team from product development meet in here and we can taste up to 50 different products. All the recipes that we've made the day before as a team with the chef and all the development technologists, we taste and very constructively criticise each other's recipes and we check and perfect to get the right level of chilli or spice or whatever the recipe requires. Thumbs up. Yeah, please.